Hello everyone, welcome to linuxin.com YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about case statements in Bash. So if I explain to you the case statements, then case statements are actually, you can say the synonyms of if and else if statements. So for example, um, you have if statement, you have else if statement, you have else if statement, and then you have else if statements and so on and so forth. Like you can have multiple else if statements. And on the other side, you have the case statement. So both of them are equivalent. So in the case statement, it checks one statement. And if it doesn't turn out to be true, then it checks the another until it finds the true one. And whenever it finds a true statement, it breaks out of the case statement and it doesn't check any of the statements forward. And same happens in the if else if block as well. So in if block, you check the statement, that turns out to be false. Then you check another, that turns out to be false. Then you check another and let's say that it turns out to be true. Then it would break the if else block and it would come out of it, okay? So doesn't matter if you have more else if statements, if it finds the true one, it would break out of it. So same case is with the case statement. So now let's do some practical, let's jump into my computer and let's see that how you can write a case statement in Bash. So here you can see that on my screen, I have my desktop and my terminal is opened up and currently my present working directory is desktop. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna nano my file, which is hello.sh. I hit enter and you can see that my scripting file is empty right now. So what I'm going to do is that first of all, I'm going to define a variable, let's say car, and then I put it equals to $1. I'm going to explain to you later what $1 stands for. For now, let's move forward and let's continue writing the case statement. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to write here a case, and then I'm going to write here the variable name, which is essentially car, and then I'm going to write here in. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to write here inside the double quotes, the case that I want to check. So for example, um, I write here the car company name BMW, and then I put a bracket here. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to echo a statement. You can basically write here anything you want. So I'm writing here echo statement. You can write if else block if you want to. If you want to have a for loop here, you can also have that. You can have other functions as well. So you can write here anything. I'm going to write here echo and then I'm going to write here this is BMW and then in order to break the statement what you're going to do is that you're going to write here double semicolons. So you write here double semicolons and then you come down here and then I'm going to write here another case which is let's say Mercedes and then I have here a bracket and then I'm going to write here echo and then I'm going to say this is Mercedes. So once I've done that, now again, I would write here double semicolons to break the statement in case this thing is true. So I come to the next line and then I write here another car company name, let's call it Honda. So once I've done there, um, I would go down, I would echo here, this is Honda. I will put double semicolons, I would end the statement and then finally, I write here, let's say the case number four, which is essentially Toyota. So once I've done that, now I'm gonna write here echo statement, this is Toyota, okay? I'm doing it really fast. And now let's say if the user or if the person who's executing your script or who's on the other side of the program, let's say he gives some case which doesn't exist. So in that case, what you're going to do that you're going to write here a default statement in case you have uh, in the dollar car variable, if you have anything else, like let's say if you don't have BMW, you don't have Mercedes, you don't have Honda and you don't have Toyota, then it's going to execute this default case. So for example, uh, while I'm running the script, if I give in place of dollar one, if I give like let's say semicolon or if I give one or if I type in their uh, Nissan, you know, or if I type in their camera, then it's going to execute the default statement. Okay. 
So it's only going to execute the relative statement against BMW, Mercedes, Honda, Toyota when I give the argument exactly as uh, I have given the case inside the double quotes. So hope you've got the point here. So now I write here star and then I'm going to write here echo and then inside the double quotes what I'm going to do is that I'm going to write here this is not a car or not a car listed. So then I put a double semicolon here as well. So double semicolon is used to break the statement and whatever case would be true, it would basically execute the statement and then it would break out of the case statement. One last thing that you need to do is that you need to end the case statement in bash uh, scripting like we have done with the if else block like in order to end the if statement you have to write fi okay so in the case of case what you're going to do is that you're going to write here esac this is a keyword that basically let your scripting language know that here the case statement is ending so once we have done that now we have perfect we are perfect here now i'm going to save it so i press control o control x come out of the uh, script now I'm in my terminal and now I can run my script. So I write here dot slash hello dot sh. I hit enter and you can see that it says this is not a car or not a car listed. So the thing is that the dollar one variable uh, that I've used in my scripting language, it basically takes the first argument that you're gonna write down after you execute your script. So for example, if I write here dot hello dot sh, then I give a space and then whatever value I type in my terminal, that value is going to be assigned to that dollar one. And of course, we have used that dollar one uh, with the car variable. So that dollar one is going to get into the car variable. So let's just try to do that. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to run my script. But before running it, I'm going to type in here BMW. So if I hit enter, you can see that uh, now it has executed the BMW statement and it says this is BMW. Let's do that with Honda. So I write here Honda. I hit enter and you can see that it has executed this is Honda. So now I have basically uh, executed my script three times, right? Let me do that fourth time by typing in some random number like one, two, H, J. I hit enter and it says this is not a car or not a car listed. So if I go inside my script, let me explain to you what has happened. So first of all, I didn't give any value to $1, which means that it was empty. So car, uh, it has empty. It had no value inside of it. So when it came to the case statement, of course, it was empty. So it couldn't match the BMW, Mercedes, Honda, and Toyota. So it executed the star statement or the default statement. So once it has done that, Again, I have executed my script with BMW. Then the dollar one had BMW, right? And the dollar one was assigned to car. So now car has BMW. So in the case statement, we have used the car variable. So essentially it has BMW inside of it stored. So then it checked with the first case, which was BMW and it matched. So it executed the statement, this is BMW. And then due to double semicolon, it broke out of the case statement and it didn't check any of the other statements. So then we typed in Honda and the same thing happened. It checked Honda with BMW. It didn't match. It moved forward. It checked it with Mercedes. It didn't match. It moved forward and then it checked with Honda and finally it matched and it broke out of there. It didn't bother to check Toyota. Okay. At all. So that is the whole scenario of the case statements. And I hope you have learned this concept. You have grabbed this concept in detail. If you have any questions, please ask us in the comments below. Uh, like this video if you have really liked it. And please continue to watch this series because as we move forward, this series is going to get advanced. So take care of yourself. Thank you so much for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification whenever we post a new video. Thanks so much.